Many scientists become famous for the things they discover. But one Victorian scientist from Edinburgh is not very well known. His name is James Clark Maxwell, and we use his discoveries every single day. Ever since he was a child, Maxwell was fascinated by light. He knew that white light could be split into a rainbow of different colours. He experimented with spinning wheels with different colours on them to find out more about how we see. He worked out that the human eye can only see red, blue and green light. Any other colours we see are mixes of these. He even calculated the exact amount of red, blue and green needed to make any other colour and showed this on a colour triangle he made. Any modern screen we use today, from smartphones to computers, uses the colour model Maxwell created in 1855. Before Maxwell, all photos were in black and white. If my calculations are correct, hmm. Maxwell took a photo of a tartan ribbon using red, green and blue filters. He then projected the red photo through a red filter, the green photo through the green filter, and the blue photo through the blue filter. When these three images of the tartan ribbon matched up, Maxwell realised he had invented the principle of colour photography. But Maxwell's discoveries didn't end there. He went on to work with another British scientist, Michael Faraday. Faraday had shown that a moving magnet could make electricity flow through a coil of wire. From this idea, Maxwell worked out that changing magnetic and electric forces could create waves of energy that travelled at the same speed as light. Just like there are a range of different colours of light, he came up with a theory that light itself was just a type of a whole range of electromagnetic waves. And he was right. His discovery led to an understanding of electromagnetic waves that we use every day, like radio waves, microwaves and x-rays. So, every time you look at a screen, use your phone, listen to the radio or even cook your dinner, remember that the technology you are using owes a lot to James Clark Maxwell. <laughs>